Hi there. Thank you so much for joining us today. For everybody to know, we have here Reynold Alexander, magician, supernatural, amazing uh, magician from Puerto Rico. Thank you so much for joining us today. How are you today? Thank you for having me. I'm great. And now that I'm listening to you, I'm better. <laughs> I'm so happy that you're going to be joining us February 10th, 2023, right here in Tampa, Florida, at the Italian Club in Ybor City. We're so excited about your new show called Supernatural. Um, back in 2012 and uh, through 2015, you um, were gracious enough to come to Tampa and do a show for the Lawrence A. Martucci Benefit Corporation um, that raises money for pediatric cancer research. And now we raise money for the families that have children going through treatment. So I'm just so excited that you're going to be coming back to Tampa. We are going to welcome you with open arms. So tell Thank us you. a little bit about how you got started in the magical world. Oh, wow. That's a, a long question. I'll try to summarize it. Uh, my father is an amateur magician. He never performed a paid gig. It was always between family and friends, um, local events like the house party or my birthday. So I got started with my father and then I searched more information on the, la on the library and I met other magicians and then slowly I took it professionally. And slowly, meaning like you went to the University of Tampa, actually. Yes, my that's how we met. And that's how I met Reynold Alexander. And uh, he uh, always entertained us every single day. We had some sort of uh, magical trick going on at the school. And, um, you know, one day he said, I'm going to do this professionally. And I said, OK. <laughs> well, it was not like that all the sudden, but yeah, it was gradually... Little by little doing shows and every time the shows got more complicated, more complex. And here we are. Yep. And he performed at the University of Tampa Theater there, at the Folk Theater, right? Yes. Oh, I remember that show. It was great. At that point, I think we all knew that you were going to do this full time. <laughs> <laughs> it was well, a wonderful very show. Good memories. Yes. Yeah, very good memories. Um, so tell us, since you did a show for us um, back in 2012 through 2015, can you tell us a little bit about your show Supernatural and how different it's going to be yes. than previous shows? Magic has different categories. For example, illusionists. That's what I've done all, all my life. But also there's like escapes, like Harry Houdini. He'll be tied up and he will escape in a couple of minutes. Didn't um, you do something? Um, I, I believe you did something very familiar, uh, very uh, like that, where you won a world, um, world I've record. I've done some, some tributes to Harry Houdini. I did a straight jacket escape hanging upside down with a burning rope. I did a water torture cell. Yeah, I don't do that anymore. We're <laughs> aging. <laughs> Are we We're getting aging. too old? We're getting too old yeah, for that. I don't do that anymore, but I've done that. So magic has categories, escapes, um, children magic, like for kids. There's another category, close-up magic with cards. Also, we got um, big illusions. We got magic with animals. But there's a no, whole different category, which I'm exploring now for the past few years. It's called mentalism. Mentalism is a, is a kind of magic where I deal with your mind and enter your brain and read your thoughts. And can you read my thoughts because, now? We can give it a shot. We can give it a shot now. <laughs> but for example, when, when a magician cuts a lady in half, you know that it's not possible. It's not real. It's an illusion. Or when the girl levitates in the air, you don't know how it's done, but you know it's not real. It's, not, it's an illusion. But mentalism blurs the line, whether it's real, is it a trick? You don't know. Mm -hmm. And it's, the, it's been said it's the most real or closest to real magic in the whole field of illusionism. So I, know, I want to give it a shot. Can we do that? Okay, yeah. I would like yeah, to see this happen. It doesn't always work. Things yeah. can go wrong. I give it a shot. I'm, a okay. I'm going to think on a number. Okay. I'm going to project that number to you. Okay. Oh, you know what? No, no, you know what? No, let's, let's do the other way around. You're going to project that number to me. I'm because sometimes receiving in, you receiving that number could be a little bit harder. We can do it later. Let's, let's warm up and I'll get your thoughts. Okay. I'm going to write a number between okay. zero and nine and 99. Zero and 99? Okay. Yes. Should I write it down? Yeah. Too? 
Don't yeah, you think about it? Don't tell me. I'm gonna okay. write it down. Okay. Should I write down my number? No, you don't need to. I you don't need to. Okay. You think about it. I'm thinking about it. And in your mind, obviously, silently, repeat that number over and over. Repeat it in your mind. Okay. Doing that. Yeah. I know it feels awkward. I understand. It feels. No, I'm uh, I'm doing my voodoo over there, and I'm sending you. I'm sending I, you the number. <laughs> and I know. I, I'm picking up something. You're pretty easy to read, actually. Oh, it's okay. gonna be harder. You're okay. Pretty easy to... I think I got it. I Somehow think... I doubt it, but okay. Oh, you doubt it? I doubt it. <laughs> I'm committed. I am committed. Okay. Um, I don't want to mess this up on, on live on television if you want to look at it that way. Um, what is the number? Oh well, why don't you show me the number first? I'm committed. Okay, 12. Wow. Any particular reason you want the 12 or just because? Just because. No, no meaning to it. No meaning at all whatsoever. Do you believe me? I, I knew you were going to say 12. I sensed it. No way. Oh, my goodness. What? Stop it. See, the ability to enter somebody's mind and read their thought is the most personal thing we have. Our thoughts is the most personal thing we have. I want to do that in the show. People are going to be thinking of things, for example, a place or the first date. I'll get details of that event. I'll read their mind. I can open their phone. I can read their mind and, and figure out their passcodes. That's something a lot of wives want to learn. Well, and I just want to say something to the audience real quick because they might think that we like decided oh, on no, a no, 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 it... We didn't even discuss doing a trick live. I just want everyone to know that. I can't even believe it. I'm shocked. I'm it's shocked. It's point you bring up. All the people that are using the audience are selected at random. And I have a beach ball and I throw the ball to the audience. And that's how I choose people to make it random. Because if they think I, I arrange something with a spectator, then it will be meaningless. Right. The whole thing is to people to be convinced that everybody that participates in the show are regular spectators. Nothing is arranged. It's a very interactive show. Very interactive so, show. So I, that's what I was going to ask you. It sounds like there's a lot of audience participation. A lot of audience interaction. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Now, that's remember earlier, mm -hmm. I said I was going to transmit to you. And I said, that's a little bit more difficult. Now that we warmed up, I want to give that a shot to okay. transmit something to you. Okay. okay. We're going to use a, a deck of cards. Okay. Okay. Can you see all different? Not a trick deck or cards different? Yes. Okay. No. Not a trick deck. All cards alike. No, 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 no. No. Okay. I'm going to have to put the deck away. I'm not going to switch the deck. I'll, put, I'll show it to you again one more okay. time before we do it. I don't want you to think I switch deck. I just out of sight for a moment. I'm going to rip the page. Okay. I'm going to write card okay i'm going to write a card which i know you're going to select i'm committed here i cannot change right here it's folded I, this piece of paper i put it in, in a place visible there i cannot switch it it's right there okay it's awkward but it's there yeah yeah and there's nobody else in the room so no, there no, you no, go. right there and again I, I'll, I'll show you the the cards, I did not switch the deck, all cards different. Okay. A quick shuffle. A quick shuffle. The card, I wrote down here a card. The card I wrote down, I have to look, I have to know where it is. Okay. Okay. I know where it is now. Okay. So I'm going to pass cards from my, from my hand, from the deck, into the table, one by one. I'm going to influence you to stop because you're okay. going to stop anytime. And hopefully you're going to stop at the card I want you to do, to stop. All right. Okay. The deck is shuffled. You saw me shuffle. Yes. You saw all different. Yes. Once again, all cards different. Yep. So I'm going to pass down cards. And I know where the card is. Actually, I'm going to pick just in case. <laughs> I'm going to influence you to stop exactly where I want to. So whenever okay. you feel the urge, you say stop, but I'm influencing you by my voice, by my actions, I'm influencing you. Stop. 
You, I have one in my hand. You want the one in my hand or you want the next one? Because it's, I don't know which the one. one is. The one in your hand. You this want one. this one? Yeah, that one. Luana, what is the free choice? You felt, you said stop whatever you want. Oh, and the, the thing is still here, right? Yeah, yes, it is. You said stop whatever you want, right? Yes. What is that card? Three of hearts. Three of hearts. Three of Three hearts. Choice. A shuffle deck, and you stop whatever you want, all cards different. Yes. Wow, that is so cool. <laughs> and I also noticed that that pad is not, you know, any kind of trick pad either. Oh, no, 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 just... It's on a Wyndham Grand. No, yeah, <laughs> I, I did show the other day and I took the, I stole the pads. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I stole the pad from the, from well, the banquet room. That's amazing. So, that's mentalism. Able, okay. to, able to influence your choices, to get into your mind and have you do what I, want to influence you to do or mm -hmm. read your mind or, or anticipate your actions predict what you're about to say so it's a field that is very interesting it's very complex it's the closest to real magic and sometimes it's the most difficult one because sometimes i mess it's not 100 percent Okay. So I have, my, I have to be on my toes. Well, so, it makes it more interesting. I mean, I'm already blown away. You only did two tricks. So I'm excited uh, to see what you can do on February 10th this year at the Italian Club in Ybor City. You can get your tickets at lawrenceamartucci.com. Please join us. I mean, we're very excited. We have limited seating. So please come and see this one night only magical event with Reynold Alexander. And Reynold, again, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate Thank you for it. having me. If you want to look up me on, um, hit me on social media, Reynold Alexander Magia. Magia is magic in Spanish. And you can look me up and find videos and other stuff that I do. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.